Pinpoint, bringing you the very best of the internet. Welcome to Pinpoint. In lieu of a proper Friday minis episode, let's take a look at a website that I've been using a fair bit, and uh, I thought it would be pretty useful for any kind of programming practice. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a service called Catus. Now, Catus is essentially, well, a website with a whole host of programming questions. Um, it's sort of done in a competitive programming style. So essentially what you have to do is sign up for an account, choose a question you like, and then do it. Each question has a fixed set of inputs and outputs. Some of the inputs are actually hidden from you. Well, the idea is that your program needs to take the inputs, do the right thing, and produce the expected output. If you can do that, you pass the question. Of course, there are other limitations like time and memory constraints. But, well, depending on what question you choose, that may or may not be a problem. Well, the premise is as simple as that, and you can use any programming language you like. I mean, all major ones like Python, C, Java, they're all supported. So yeah, this is actually really interesting because I've been using this in classes. You know, I do one-to-one uh, -one tuition, and yeah, we do these as practice exercises. Um, I do it for fun as well sometimes because there are more difficult questions, there are simpler questions. Uh, go for the level of difficulty that you're comfortable with. By the way, how you tell the difficulty of a question is, well, each question has a number attached to it, kind of like an ELO number. So if the number is 1 to 2, then it's not a very difficult question. But once you go up to questions that are like 4 or 5, then yeah, those are a little bit more complex. Now, for the difficult questions, sometimes the difficulty is in the timing constraints. What this means is that the question may require you to chew through a lot of data, so you have to do it in an efficient manner. Those questions are of course somewhat difficult because, well, yeah, you need to think about all the optimization stuff. So if that's not up your alley, then stick to questions that are, well, 1 to 2. Um, I think 2 point something is still okay. Right, once you go up to the threes and the fours, then they start to get a little bit more challenging. I haven't tried that many questions, you know, above five. Uh, I think six was as far as I got. Seven and eight were insanely difficult, so I didn't bother. But yeah, like I said, it's a good practice opportunity for, well, beginners and seasoned programmers alike. And like I said, it's a competitive programming platform, meaning there are leaderboards, um, if you are in a university or from a university in the past, you can affiliate yourself with that university and then you can score points for them. Um, you can score points for your country as well. It's a very interesting setup and it does the gamification thing just right. It doesn't shove it in your face. Um, and yet, when you do what you need to do, you gain points as part of it. So that's pretty cool. I highly recommend you check it out. It's called Catus. The URL is on screen. And uh, if you think you're new to programming and you want to have a few hand-picked, you know, simple enough questions to get you into it, I have more questions linked in the video description as well. These were hand-picked by me, right, uh, to ensure that it's not too difficult, it gets you in the groove. Of course, to give credit where credit is due, I first heard about this platform from an NUS module, that's the university I graduated from. They use it as part of their coursework. Now, that was after my time, I wasn't actually a student at that time, but I heard from someone who was still taking that course. So again, thanks go out to Dr. Stephen Harlan and his crew uh, for finding a platform that works very well. So do check it out, open.catis.com. Um, yeah, I've been playing with it more than I like to admit. Um, yeah, and I'm on the leaderboards. If you want, you can look for me. I'm not that high up. In fact, while we're on this topic, uh, you may have noticed that on some of the questions, on the right side, there is a little license box that tells you, you know, whether you're permitted to reuse it. What this means is teachers can choose to, well, take the question if the license allows it, modify it, do whatever, and use it in the classroom. So that's pretty cool. And in fact, I do have plans to do the same on this channel. Um, we'll see, right? You know what my schedule is like. Anyway, that's it. Enough rambling on my part. Go to Catsys, go sign up, go try some questions. Um, yeah, I think it'll be fun, right? As long as you like programming, it's probably an interesting thing to try. Anyway, that's it. That's all there is for this particular episode of Pinpoints. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, you're watching 0612 TV with nerdfirst.net.
Thank you very much for watching. If you like my work and are feeling generous, you can shoot me a one-time donation on PayPal or sign up for a recurring one on Patreon. Of course, you can simply like, comment and subscribe. You know the deal. For more videos, links to my channel and a related playlist are on screen. Thank you for your support.